Okay, we're talking about how to use Zoom webinars without their registration page. So how do we connect Zoom to our email service? And my initial reaction was that we'd have to use Zapier and it would have to be complicated, but check this out. This is way easier. So you have to have a Zoom webinar account in order to do this. So you go into my webinars and we're gonna talk about the one that we're, that's coming up. And you go into, by default, you have to have registration. But so if you, if you come in here and there's a registration required, it'll look like this. Um, but um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to remove, oops, that's not it. We're going to remove the requirement for registration. And then we're just going to use the invitation piece. So I'll show you, I have, you can do this with anything, with ConvertKit, with anybody that you have. So I have active campaign. So I'm gonna log into active campaign and create a form. That is for April 23rd webinar. And we're going to subscribe them to a list, to the Devil Media list, and we will t add a tag and we will say, webinar webinar because it's a webinar about webinars and then we'll create this form here and we will say join whoops join us on April 20 23rd here um, we'll uh, let's see we'll learn how to create a webinar in hours not days oh look at that okay enter your name and email address to register It's uh, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, and then we will change the submit button to register, and maybe we can get that off. Styles, options, okay, we're going to integrate it. And then we'll use this on our landing page. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have people submit to this form. And then after that, they will see a thank you page, thank you for registering page, that has these buttons on it. So we're bypassing all of the Zoom registrations. We don't have to use their landing page. We don't have to use their um, email updates or any of that. And that's how we're going to do it. Uh, code, the simple embed, we'll copy this. We will put it in here and we will hit save. And now we can see that we've bypassed Zoom entirely. And when this register button comes up, it lets, it's just the active campaign form, which is, yes, very ugly, but does the trick. The next piece that we're going to look at is how we handle the thank you page. Okay, just a few more things to do. So now we're in, we made a thank you page that says, <laughs> incidentally, you're in. And we take this URL and we go back to ActiveCampaign or wherever you go. And instead of doing 
a thank you message on submit, you send them to this URL. So we have them subscribed to the list and we have them tagged. They're going to go to this webinar and we are going to integrate. I think that's how you hit save. I think it saves automatically in active campaign. I don't know how it works in other ones, but oh, look, now we have to hit save. So we'll save and exit. Now you can see it subscribes to a list and it adds a tag and we can make it prettier, but we're probably not going to because it does the trick. Now the next thing we need to do is add the links here. I already did the icons and stuff because that's a beaver builder thing and we can talk about that another time. But um, here we have the Google Calendar and iCloud or Outlook Calendar links. So just copy the link here, go over back to this tab, change the link here to that, hit save, and then do the same thing with the ICS one. So we're going to copy the link here and in the thank you page here, we're going to make it link to that piece. And then we will publish this piece. And then I want to show you because when you're writing the emails that lead up to joining us on the 23rd live, you want to use this link here because that's what they're going to have to, they're going to have to register once they get in there. But um, this is the way that we can just completely circumvent the registration part of Zoom and not have them send out their ugly emails.